Hey, what's up guys, and we're on Act 7.1. I said I'd do this item list, and I am, but just for the completion, I'm just gonna record the boss fights and show you like which path I took, because I don't have my Elgato yet, so I can't stream, and recording the whole path will take too long. So this first path, we did Masochism, Double Down, and Power Focus 2. I basically just brought this team and just didn't, um, I just basically just used the 6-star Goat. So as you can see, she's the only character that's taken damage yet. Um, it's pretty simple, and I'm gonna switch out this guy. Hood for Captain Infinity War, and I'm gonna go to the boss if need be. Uh, but this path's very easy. I just bring double ghost and then wasp and hood. Um, it's masochism, it's like the only hard node, but with ghost, I mean, you basically never need to, um, you never need to, um, stun. So, yeah, so this first boss is clairvoyant. I think this probably is the easiest path if you have ghost. I'm gonna look over all the paths too when I make my completion video, but for now, I think for like if you have ghost, this is. Just an easy path. I didn't boost. Oh shit! I didn't boost or anything. It's just I think a very easy path. So, yeah. Okay, so we got some furies. Um, I need to focus up a little bit because I haven't been talking this whole time. So now that I'm recording, I gotta fo um, focus a little bit more. I'll just throw this before she throws a special too. Fuck it. Let's try to get some power from this. Not a good idea. All right, so Ghost died. Um, but luckily for me, uh, we have a second Ghost and Quake. I forgot I was on the team also. So this this should be like, if I have to revive in this fight, that'll be really tragic. That means I really must have fucked up. Um, but I just don't think that's going to happen. So can I get an in? I cannot get an in. So we learned today that you cannot get an in after that special. Um, okay, so let me just... Bait this out. I want to see something. This might get me killed. I just want to see, since it's unblockable. Oof. That was some nice damage. And she didn't fucking um, counter hit me there, which is kind of funny. But whatever. Let's keep going. Um, don't throw a special, please. Throw a heavy. All right. All right, fight over. All right, so that's the first boss down. And I'm going to record once we get to the second one. So, yeah, I'll see you there. First path, fully itemless. All right. We are back. We're on the second boss. Uh, my Archangel got clapped and my Ghost got smacked in the face. Um, for this Venom, I'm thinking Clairvoyant instead of um, Hood. Um, so yeah, let's see. Where's Clairvoyant? Actually, I think Omega Red is the best option. Okay, we're going to bring Omega Red. Um, I just recently ranked 3 him. And it's basically a big Venom with... Uh, Chitinous Thorns, and what else does he have? Let's see. Chitinous Thorns. Um, yeah, and Foresight, so you can intercept him. So I think this is the play. I think we're going to use a Mega Red here. Um, we're going to pretty much constantly have a bleed up, so that's good. Um, Alright, we're going to play safe because I do not want to restart the path, and my Ghost is kind of clapped right now. I have a second Ghost, but... Uh, I'd rather just not have to rely. I'd rather just be able to one-shot this fight with a Mega. If we play slow and safe, should be a very simple fight. So, yeah. We don't have any synergies for a Mega, but it should be fine. This is the first time I've played a Mega Red without a Saber 2 synergy in so long, dude. Oh, my God. It feels so weird. All right, come on. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good at all. I throw your shit, bro. <gasps> Holy fuck. Fuck, how much block damage did that just do? Just did, like, my whole health bar. Holy crap, okay, we gotta play smart. Don't fuck up. Get my adrenaline health back. Adrenaline is very nice. Um, I don't know what the easiest path is in this quest. I really don't. I, I, I went with this one. I think it's probably the easiest, but I don't know. Once again, it's... What is this path again? Let me see. It's, it's, um, uh, what's the node? It's the one where he has, like, that yellow shield up for, um, a little bit. And when he has the yellow shield up, um, all the damage he does gets stored. And, yeah, if you get hit, you basically just die. Um, I'll see what the node is after this. Um, but this should be good. We pretty much one-shot this Venom, so that's good. Um... Very happy about that. Let's do the special three. I'll tell you what the note is. Um, let me look at my document. 
It's overreach and destructive feedback. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really know what overreach does, to be honest. But yeah, it's basically just destructive feedback. That's pretty much the main note. Um, so yeah, let's get some health back and yeah, he's dead. All right, so second boss down, second quest completely itemless, very fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the third one. All right, we are back with the third path. Um, it was a really easy path. It was, um, what was it? It was mesmerized, dizzy, and stun vulnerability. So basically, if you get stunned, you die from mesmerized, but it's stun vulnerability, so you can just parry, three hit everyone, and they all just die. Um, oh, I forgot to look at this Hulkbuster's nodes are. Oh, we can back out. In the beta, we weren't allowed to back out. It was really annoying. So shocked armor, um, shockingly brilliant, um, and dulled. So for this one, I'm actually thinking I'm going to take out Ghost um, and replace her with, like, Doom or Claire, I'm thinking. Probably Claire. You know, like, looking back, I don't know why on the list I put Ghost and Wasp, because they're both kind of shit for the path. Um, they're not bad, I don't think. But at the same time... They're not like useful because you want to stun the characters and with ghosts you don't really want to stun and um yeah i don't know why so let's see how this fight goes um yeah hopefully it's fine um should be theoretically but it's a big health pool so i start off with magneto so pretty much not going to crit at all in this fight uh, but with all these nodes i don't think there's anything to worry about not that i know of i can't think of anything that will really be a problem here um, the dull note is a no. Oh, I remember what why Magneto wasn't that good for this, um, because of the uh, because the armor breaks. He doesn't take that much damage from uh crap. Um, actually, we can try to throw a special two first, so we can armor break him, and then we can refresh the armor break. So this might be the play. If we can keep this thing refreshed, then the bleeds will actually do real damage. But if he gets any armor breaks, um, then yeah. Okay, so yeah, it does break his armor. That's really good. Now this fight should be 10 times easier. I think in the beta, I didn't do the armor break tactic. So he was just getting armor ups, and my special three bleed was doing like nothing. But yeah, this is the play. This is definitely the play. Um, Corvus was a beast for this path because you just hit three combos into their uh, into their stun and they just die, dude. Um, so yeah, let's just we just gotta keep this armor up. So he gets an armor break and then we break it. So that's good. Throw your thing, my guy. Throw your thing. Hey, right, so we're gonna wait now. Until he gets another armor up, and then we're going to break it, then we're going to go. So, break his new armor up. Throw a special one. Throw a special one. Th throw. Oh my god, this is painful. I could have just gone, but I didn't really want him to get to a special two. So, we're going to break this. Oh my god. Alright, now go. Everything's broken, everything's set up. We got 43 prowess. This should kill him. Maybe... It's a big boy, he has 600,000 health. This is a massive special three. Oh my god, how much was that? That was 200,000 damage. And look at these 10k bleeds. Oh, dude, Magneto is so good. Oh, easy one shot. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Path three, fully itemless. That's definitely the easy path. Stone vulnerability, super easy. Um, with Archangel and Corvus, they pretty much did everything. And then Magneto's god for the boss. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and now I'll see you at boss four. Alright, we are back with the fourth boss. So I took this path, it was super easy. It was like bleed immunity and like highly flammable, which basically means they took 200% more damage from fucking, uh, what's it called, from incinerate. So Domino Full Trinity destroyed this. Look at this juggernaut. He has caustic temper, I forgot to... Okay, I have to change... I wrote it on my list. I have to change Massacre for Angela. So, Massacre, throw out. Oh, wait, Angela. Five star Angela for Massacre. So, now we have the synergy for Quake so that we can basically just fucking, what is it? 
uh, get the fury buff and then basically just quake this shit. Right, so yeah, let's do this. Um, this is kind of a boring boss fight because uh, I'm just quaking it and he's kind of a big dude. But now we can do damage because this note is basically you get poisons on you. So you need a poison immune or someone like Quake who just doesn't touch him. And you also do like no damage unless you have a Fury. So I brought, so the original team is Quake, uh, Heimdall, and then Domino Trinity. And then, we're gonna, we, and then we use Domino to get through the whole path. Um, Massacre was also really sick. I used Massacre for the first fight because it's a Mordo and uh, Domino is not that good for that. So I used Massacre and not Red Hulk because um, I want to save Red Hulk for this boss in case I die with Dom uh, with Quake. Um, but Massacre actually with the highly flammable node and my rank 1 6 star de fucking destroyed <laughs> Mordo dude like Massacre is crazy for this. Domino, I think, is better, but for that Mordo, because you can't stun, uh, he, he was definitely the MVP. Um, the only hard fight was Thing, and the fight wasn't really that hard with Domino, but I just wasn't hitting as hard. It was kind of annoying. Like, I was barely critting. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's because of Thing, but Thing with his protection also is a little bit more tanky, and you also got to manage the rock stacks, which is kind of annoying with Domino because her um, critical failure... Um, sometimes you need to hit him once and you think it'll give him the rock stack, but because of critical failure, it doesn't. It didn't get me killed at all, but it was something to watch out for if you're doing this fight, um, or if you're doing that fight. So, yeah. Um, she were, uh, Domino just destroys this path because it basically is all your incinerates do 200% more damage than they normally would do, and you just destroy it. It's just so easy how hard I just rammed through this shit. So, yeah, let's just... Keep quaking. This boss fight is annoying as fuck. Um, but we're getting through it. It's what, like 660,000 health boss. So we're in the content now where Quake kind of struggles. It's just not really struggle, but these health pools are a little bit big. That's not an annoying thing. It's, by the time we get to like 7.4, I don't know how useful Quake's going to be anymore. Because she's not a 6 star. They didn't release her as a 6 star because they wanted to nerf her without really nerfing her, if you know what I mean. So they just didn't release her as a six star. So her power level has a cap. There's obviously no cap, you can do this infinitely. But obviously, I mean, once we get to like 1.5, 1 million health pools, you could use Quake, but at that point you might just want to use someone else because the fights will just take all day, especially if they're not Mystic and don't class advantage. I have class advantage in this fight and it's been elite, like what, two, three minute fight, something like that. It's been a long fight, but yeah. This path was pretty easy. Um, actually, very easy. This is definitely the easy path if you have the Domino tr Trinity. Um, or you just have anyone that does incinerate damage. Um, like, Massacre was going crazy, and he was a rank 1 6 star. So if you rank 2 him, he'd be pretty sick for this. So yeah, that is the fourth boss down, completely itemless. We have not used any items. I know you haven't seen me do the path, but you can take my word for it. My Domino is 1 health. So yeah, see you guys at the fifth boss. Uh, we are back at boss number five. Now, I just took a super... Oh, this is a Mercy. Okay, with Mercy, we're probably going to get Archangel. But um, I just took a super easy path. It was Energy Adoption Fire and some other nodes that were pretty ne negligible. Um, this was a pretty fucking easy path. Um, you basically just get a shit ton of incinerates on you. And then, you know, you just turn them into Furies if you're using Ghost. If you're using a skill character, so if you swipe back, you can get rid of debuffs. So that was cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a Mercy Punisher. It looks like um, Angela, but it's a Punisher. So, yeah. Basically, what we want to do is get three Neurotoxins. And when we do that... Okay, if I can get any fucking neurotoxins. Then we gotta activate Mercy and turn off the node, basically. Actually, did we already turn off the node? It seems like we're doing normal damage. Are we? I don't know. Mercy's supposed to, like, cuck our damage, but it seems like we already have normal damage. Yeah, I really don't know. Um, I'm going to eat after this fight because I'm starving and I haven't had lunch yet. 
I mean, you guys won't know the difference because I'm going to edit it. But I just thought I'd let you know what I'm doing. Um, this path was extremely easy to do itemless. Like, literally no brain power at all. Um, so, yeah. This was very, very easy. The only items I've spent are energy refills. So, yeah. That is that fight down. And I will be back. I'm going to go eat. Um, but you guys won't know the difference. I see you at the last boss. Hey, what's up, guys? And um, just look at my team, dude. <laughs> I definitely did not pick the easiest path. There were some hard fights on there, but we got this Ice Phoenix. Um, so, okay. So, we're probably going to switch Wasp for a five-star Ghost. Um, yeah. We need to get that Ghost in here. Um... Five star ghost. Okay, so now I just need to remember that I don't have the wasp synergy. So this node has encroaching stun. It's basically just a big ice man. So yeah, star six star ghost. If we could one shot this with six star ghost, I'll feel very safe. Um, because then I won't have to worry about, um, you know. Whatever it's called, I don't have to worry about only having like one life left. Now I feel like Brian Grant, like I know this str it's stressful because you do not want to die because then you have to restart like the whole path and that's just painful, dude. So we got this, we got encroaching stun coming. Let's just throw this. Oh, we didn't time it right. So they're not all going to crit, but it's worth it to not die. So I don't think this fight's going to be too hard looking at it now. Um, yeah, I just don't think it's gonna be that hard, but hopefully we're, we, we can do this shit. Okay, so we threw the special one, so we don't die. Okay, so let's just throw these. Okay. Throw the special two. Cool, cool, cool. Throw the special one. Now we got to two bars of power. Um, let's throw this, special two. We were doing pretty good in this fight. Um, once again, hopefully we get a one shot this shit. We only have two specials left before we die from recoil from the suicide masteries. But hopefully she's good by then. That'll be very helpful. Okay, throw the special one really quickly. No, she did not. We threw the special two, we got that off last second. That was pretty clutch, can't lie. Um, I don't want to say this pass over, but I think we should be good. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're dead to that. Okay, please be able to finish this with six, uh, with five-star ghost. We literally have a full health pool. It'd be so tragic. Uh, but hopefully, I, if we can do this, I'm glad this pass over, because that was not, like, an easy path. It wasn't, like, super hard, but there was a few problem fights. Okay, so that's done. We have fully done Act 6 completion item list, not a single item spent. Um, definitely did not take the easiest path there. I don't know what the easiest path would be. I didn't really look around too much, but yeah, let's just get that. Completion rewards done. Easy completion in the first, like, two hours. It would have been faster, but I, um... What is that? I um, would be faster, but... Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, I wanted to go eat. So, this is a small... We can do a small crystal opening right here. Um, yeah, we can just do a small opening, because why not? This is the bundle. There's level 6 potions, which are new, but I don't really care. If we get tech from the tier 5 CC... Okay, so first, we want tech from this. Um, but if we don't get tech, it's fine. Um... Yeah, we want tech from this. We want tech from both things. Okay, so we got science. That's fine. That'll have a use eventually. But from this next crystal, we very much want tech, the 25% crystal, or is it at? For, oh, we can open these six stones too. And we'll open a six star for last. Um, but yeah. If we get tech from this 25% crystal, uh, we can rank three ghost, which is very sexy indeed, as you know. Um, we're really close to forming science too, but I don't really have any good science characters. So tech, tech, tech. Of course, it's science. We got double science. I really don't have any good science characters. So that's kind of tragic. Um, we formed a crystal. Um, like if we look at my science roster for the six stars, 
Um, I could rank three void, but he's unduped. So actually, if we dupe void from this crystal, I will be happy to rank three him, but uh, we really just want like a human torch. Like that's like probably the best science character you can get, human torch, cat or cap infinity war. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're hoping for. There's a whole bunch of good pools in here, but um, yeah, this is from completing act six. So was it worth it? Um, fully itemless. Dupe into Warlock or Guillotine 2099 would also be really cool. Because I'm going to rank three of them eventually too. But Ghost is first because she's just the best. Too bad her prestige is kind of shit. So it's stopping on the sun. Um, I got a Juggernaut this morning. So hopefully it's not shit. And it's shit. Oh my god, dude. I've been getting some meme pulls recently, dude. I got double duped my Juggernaut this morning. And now I got Cat Marvel Classic. She's complete trash. Um... The only good thing about getting her is I guess she gives me even teams for the arena, but not that helpful. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.